Hey guys, Joe here with Doji Trading, and today we are going to look at how we can set up Touch Portal to take screenshots of the current scene in OBS and upload them to your Discord. As an added bonus, we will look at in the very end how to set it up so that while in Twitch, if a user uses a special command, they can actually take a screen, um, they can take the screenshot as well of your current scene and go ahead and upload it to the community chat as well. So the end result is going to look like this, where your touch portal is going to essentially give you a button. You're going to be able to click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to take a picture of the current screen that it's in, and then it's going to go ahead and upload it straight into your Discord. So all that happened automatically. Um, and what we're going to do is just look at that together. Now, I only set this so that I'm alerted when this happens. That's why we didn't hear the little, little ding. So, but this is exactly you know, in game result. And you know, your channel will have your screenshots in them. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right to it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is, well, definitely gonna wanna have a channel that you're gonna capture your screenshots in. But the first thing we wanna do is actually get the program set up. And by doing that, what we're gonna do is come right over here to the web browser and inside of your selected browser, your selected web browser, go ahead and type Discord auto upload. And the very first thing that pops up is going to be the link that we're actually gonna go ahead and go towards. Just make sure that Tard is X is the user for the GitHub that you're actually going to go into to obtain files from. Go ahead and select, go ahead and click on that link come on down over here to where it says binaries we're getting started and then right where you know it says Linux and Windows click here that's exactly what we're gonna go ahead and do then go ahead and select your operating system Linux Mac or Windows I'm a Windows user so I'm gonna go ahead and click that now as you can see this is the fourth one that I've downloaded because my videos have not been very successful <laughs> But I'm just trying to make sure that I get it to work for you guys on the first run uh, with the best explanation possible. So once you get this file, go ahead and extract it to your desktop. Scan it, of course. Definitely always encourage you to scan, you know, with all of your um, antivirus software. Definitely want to do that. I scanned on mine, came up clean, but then again, I only use Windows Defender. So, whoa, but uh, that's that. And once it's extracted, go ahead and locate it mine is located right up over here um, next to my examples and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now when you open it up for the first time it's probably gonna look a little bit different than mine simply because mine's already been pre-configured but you need this running for the next step to work so now we're gonna go ahead and come back over to the uh, browser and we're gonna go ahead and click right over here it says localhost 9090. And what that does is it brings up your control file, uh, your config file. And we're gonna find this nice little area right over here that says config. And you wanna go ahead and click on that. Now we have a few things that we can look at. We have the Discord webhook URL, the bot username, directory to watch, period between file system checks. Great, so the first thing we wanna do is look at the Discord webhook URL. Now we haven't set one up, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let me just go ahead and get rid of this because this is the pre-configured um, one that I had. It, yours probably looks a little bit more like this. So now let's go ahead and go back on over to Discord. And you're gonna go ahead and click up over here on the top of your server. Click on server settings. Come on down to integrations and into webhooks right over here. Now you can see I already have one, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one so we can start, we can do it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new webhook. This is gonna be called snapshots. That's just what I choose to name it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the screenshots. Might have to make that a little bit bigger. Okay. 
now it's in screenshots i got a name for it now i want to copy the webhook url so go ahead and click on that now make sure to go ahead and click save changes all that's done go ahead and exit out and i'm going to bring this back to a smaller size and then i'm going to go right back over to my browser now where it says Des uh, discord webhook url go ahead and paste that bot username um go ahead and name yours either the same or something else and then the directory to watch is where are you going to be placing your files after they get created um, so you want to have a folder that's dedicated to screenshots only so i definitely encourage you to make one wherever you choose to make one um, what i went ahead and did is i routed it to this folder right here which is on my desktop so as you can see back over here that's exactly what i did now i don't think there's a pop-up for this i can't remember if there is but if there isn't all you need to do is open a window and simply um copy and paste the directory path into this box right over here now once all that's done all you want to do is just go ahead and click update on each one of these whether you only have to hit it once or all three times i'm not too sure but personal sense of um verification is that i will go ahead and click all three of them now period between file system checks simply just indicates how long is the program going to continue in terms of seconds is it going to keep checking to see if there's new pictures so every 10 seconds the system the the application checks to see if there is a new picture that has been posted inside of that folder so um, 10 seconds is fine to me and it's not a really big deal so that's everything else is done here that we need to do so when that's done you can actually close it out but um and we're going to go ahead and jump right back over to the discord area all right so technically we have everything that we need to make this work you know actively so let's go ahead and create a test to make sure that it in fact does work so come on over to your touch portal go ahead and click on and a button that doesn't have anything i'm gonna go ahead and name this test and good practice on touch portals I'll always start with uh, making some kind of picture i right, doing the name and the icon first and then on pressed i want to go ahead and take a screenshot so what i typed was scr for screenshot and then on the underneath the obs the action is screenshot the file i'll go ahead and click on that and then take screenshot of well this is where it's gonna this is where you're going to set your own parameter this is up to you um, you can set it to, you know, take a picture of any of your scenes, but I'm going to go ahead and set it to take a picture of my current scene in the format of a PNG and to where, where am I going to have it go? Well, this is my directory. So, um, this is where I have my screenshot saved. That's exactly where I'm going to go ahead and put it. And then, um, when that happens, it's gonna so this is this is the directory which it's going to and and then i it's it doesn't allow you just to save it you have to have a name here so i'm just gonna name it d or for the sake of this one where i'm gonna go p right because it'll be the offset of this letter here go and click save and now you're good and go ahead and click save one more time and let's get that set up right over here all right so because I used a screenshot earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. It's nice and clean. And then what I'm going to do on the board is go ahead and alt and left click on it to go ahead and test, test it right now. So I went ahead and alt and left clicked and there looks like the folder got a picture in it. And then it looks like we actually got the um, snapshot uploaded. So we know that the so we know that touch portal is is taking the screenshot properly it's putting it in a folder and then the program is going ahead and uploading it to discord so congratulations on part number one i mean a lot of people can start here and you know if, if this is all you're looking for that's great but now if you want to go ahead and you know integrate this with twitch go ahead and stay continued because that's what we're going to do next so now what we're going to do is just go ahead and open this code back up and then go on to the on event come over here to twitch And then on chat message, 
Um, right now, I'm going to leave it at everyone. You know, anybody can use it. You can set it up however you like. Send a Twitch message that contains is equal to. Let's do. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put picture simply because I already used screenshot on my other one. So we're going to use picture. And then what I want to do is go ahead and copy this. Go ahead and paste it because I needed to take a screenshot. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and send a chat message. And this message is going to be like, uh, took a picture. Um, that's just for right now. Now, obviously, you can add sounds and all that other jazz. Um, and I can make a video for that if you guys like, but this is just to get you guys started so that, you know, you can use your creativity to create something fancy on your own. Um, and there we go. So we have that set up. We can go ahead and click save. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is this is the one part I didn't have ready, which was a popped out chat set. Wow. Wow. You know, well, when you load up Twitch, that's what happens, right? Let's see. Okay, so I went ahead and popped out uh, my Twitch chat, which is right here. And then what I'm going to go ahead and type is picture. Right, because that should be the that should be what, what the, the thing was. So I'm going to slap that in there, the picture, took a picture. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we get the upload. Perfect. So there you have it. There's the new upload. Now your server, your discord server is essentially responding to the community. I mean, you can, like I said, you can set that for reward, reward points or anything else like that, but it's, it was unique. I saw this done for Leon board, but I didn't see anything for touch portal. So I wanted to go ahead and set this up with touch portal just in case there were people who were more dedicated to touch portal. Um, and you know, I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to utilize such a cool thing. Now that's it. When you're done with this, you know, go ahead and shut it down. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy here. When you're done, go ahead and close it. And then that's it. That's really all that you needed to do. So you're all set up and squared away. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that helped. Um, Oop, that's not even the right, not even the right command. So that's just an example. Did the exact same thing. Took a picture. Um, made a little audio sound that attached to it. But of course, that program is no longer running. So the picture is not going to pop up over here. Now, this is also going to consistently overwrite the exact same photo every single time. If you wanted to make a folder that captured each and every single individual picture you can by creating a variable but if you're interested just let me know in the comments below and i'll go ahead and you know walk over walk you through how to set that up as well but if not as of right now this particular setup is just going to create one picture overwrite it consistently and just go ahead and keep uploading uploading it for you so um, any questions or suggestions, as always, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'm always here to help. I thank everybody for watching my videos. And until next time, this is Joe with Doji Trading. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you when I see you.